Today, we're taking you on a 12-hour luxury bus ride from Mexico City to the beautiful seaside resort town of Puerto Vallarta. We've just spent a few days in Mexico City, a city that shocked us with its incredible architecture and history and has a great place to remote work from. But now it's time to head to the coast of Mexico to experience small town resort vibes while we attend our friend's wedding. Friends that we met in 2019 while teaching English in Vietnam. Tacos and margaritas on the beach, here we come! Woo! We are going to call an Uber and take a 25 minute ride to the Mexico Norte ETN bus station. You must be wondering why on earth are you guys taking a bus instead of airplane? And that's because the price of flights have literally quadrupled because it is spring break at the moment. So it's become unaffordable and so we're taking a cheaper, more affordable option. And yeah, let's review the bus and see if it actually is a good oh, option. Got no idea. So we got you safely. The first counter we went to, I imagine, is where you go to buy your tickets if you don't have them already. You can come to the counter and buy them right here. There's four bus stations like this in and around Mexico. There's one in the east, west, south, and we're at the north one. But I didn't want to risk not having a ticket. There were only five seats available when I checked online for this bus ride. There's also tons of like restaurants here. There's a Burger King taco place, coffee shop, a little uh, mini mart with subway to go sandwiches there's a pharmacy definitely has everything you need so yeah you can grab your snacks and have a dinner before your bus ride this bus ride is a 12 hour overnight ride from south central mexico to the pacific coast we'll later be going to the yucatan peninsula by plane but for now we're spending the next week in puerto vallarta these bus tickets cost 60 dollars usd per person and at the time a plane ticket was well over 200 dollars because of spring break we're budget but comfortable travelers, so it was a no-brainer to get the bus instead. We're so happy we did though, because look at our seats. Welcome to a luxury bus here in Mexico. It's actually really nice. The seats are so comfy. Look at this, this is so soft. We've got seat belts here. This reclines. We. Whoa, that's way cool. <laughs> Then we've got this foot area that goes down like this. And we've got the TV. They did give us speakers. This. I mean, not speakers. <laughs> Headphones that you plug in. And uh, they give you a little hanger to hang up your stuff. And then there's extra storage here. And I think you can hang something here as well. Air conditioning light. If this is a comfortable bus ride, I honestly think this is a better option than flying. Because you don't even miss out on much time at all. It's cheaper and you get to sleep the entire way there. Great! Time to take you on a bathroom tour. It smells so good in here. Soap, towels to dry your hands, the sink, the toilet. And I think that's a baby changing station. <laughs> All right, and we're off. Here we go. solidly and until like the sunrise I filmed a little bit of that and then I knocked out again and slept solidly until like 8 a.m. Pretty impressed never done that before on any type of transportation. How did you sleep? Pretty decent. Got a good like seven hours in I reckon. I think we're about an hour and a half away. It's gotten all tropical and green. It was super dry on the way here. That means it goes to the ocean. We finally reached Puerto Vallarta. It's a small coastal town known for its resorts, beaches, cobblestone streets, water sports, and nightlife scene. We are here. Short Uber ride to our Airbnb. 
Our friend's wedding is taking place in the hotel zone where all the big all-inclusive resorts are. Prices are around 300 USD a night for these, so we chose a cheap Airbnb close enough in Al Centros. It definitely looked better in the photos, but it was clean, so that's all that matters. After check-in, we headed out on foot to explore the streets and cafes around our Airbnb in the center of town. First impressions, reminds me of Vietnam, Da Nang, Nha Trang, those kind of cities. Beautiful beaches and palm trees and looks quite modern but then also quite developing at the same time. We are currently walking about 300 meters to the Green Place Cafe to find a place to do some work. You can tell there's a lot less pollution here than Mexico City because the sky is super nice and blue. It's like super beautiful here, birds chirping, there's a lot of tourists, a lot of American people here. Cobblestone streets, palm trees, let's go check out the beach. Hundred percent feels like Da Nang, Vietnam, especially with the water sports and the jet skis. This is the Malacon. It's basically like it's a big walking street, promenade basically, but it's got the beach on the one side, and then restaurants, cafes, and then boutique shops and markets and stuff on the right. Very much like Da Nang, but with a better vibe, more music and happening places, and better shopping. The actual views of the ocean are just like Da Nang. There's big skyscrapers, like hotels along the coast. The water's still, the sand's the same color. It's warm. And then there's mountains to the left and right. Not as hot and humid as Da Nang, but bloody hell. Pharmacies are in abundance here. <laughs> Puerto Vallarta, there's pharmacies absolutely on every corner. We just picked up some water, some uh, more electrolyte, and some vitamins, because this fast travel is a bit hectic on the immune system and that was all 250 pesos. It's clear from the future. Let me give you an update of what we've been doing for the last few days. So we attended the dress rehearsal for the wedding, finally saw Alexa and Nate after three years of not seeing each other. That's just crazy. Alexa and all of us, we taught English in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. We lived together, we were roommates, we had so many amazing memories. And three years later, here we are attending her wedding. It's just so precious. It's one of the perks of you know, traveling to a foreign country and meeting new people, you make lifelong friends forever and ever. It's awesome. And then the next day we had the wedding. It was so beautiful. I think we should put in a little cinematic now. We had so much fun. It was a special day, guys. So yeah, let's do the cinematic of the wedding here. With many tequilas and margaritas comes a big fat hangover the next day. Whew. Thank goodness they kicked us out at 11 p.m. <laughs> the night of the wedding. It would have been way worse if we stayed longer. The venue was an all-inclusive so, and an open bar and they just kept pouring us tequilas and margaritas all night long. We've been spending the last two days here in Puerto Vallarta just chilling, catching up on work, and we've been staying in an Airbnb in the center between Romantica and the hotel zone. And to be honest, we can't recommend it. It's been a bit of a not so great Airbnb. It hasn't been comfortable, but it was definitely a budget option. So we won't be linking it to you guys. Can't recommend, sorry getting some work done at a beautiful cafe here definitely the best one we found yet and then we're gonna head to the beach later with Alexa and Nate and tomorrow we'll be flying to Cancun so stay tuned for that after having this in Mexico City at that cafe I just couldn't not have it again it's probably one of my favorite meals in Mexico we've had it like four times and apparently it's the number one dish in Mexico that you should try we're obsessed. I just want to explain that there's half red, half green. 
on Rhett's meal. So red is generally not spicy. Green is sometimes a little spicy, but not too bad. Well, depending on where you go. And then you can ask for extra spicy stuff. <laughs> and then they're always willing to give you salsa on the side for all your meals. Um, oh, obsessed with salsa. I love it. You could have it on everything. This is the third cafe we are at here in Puerto Vallarta and it's definitely our favorite. It's got such a calm, tranquil vibe. It's very similar to Bali. Okay, so we just checked into our new hotel. We're only gonna be here for one night and then we fly to Cancun tomorrow. It's a very basic room. What makes up for it is the rooftop. It is so cute. There's views of the mountains and the oceans. There's places to sit there. I can imagine sunset is beautiful. And we're paying $40 for the night here and it includes breakfast so it is a budget option kind of regret not staying here the whole time because our previous airbnb was roughly the same price and not as nice not with as many amenities as this so yeah if you're ever in Puerto Vallarta I think you should check this one out for a very budget option though Quite cool, Jeff. Eh? Oh my goodness, this thing just. A taxi. You literally just walk down and then you just walk into the ocean and you get on a boat. Welcome to Los Muertos Beach. It is in the Romantica zone. There's a big pier, well, like a relatively big pier out here where you take the water taxis to the other beaches. But this beach is quite a vibe. There's lots of restaurants and bars on the beach where you can have a cocktail, have dinner, and be on the sand. And you don't have to be staying in one of the hotels to come eat here, which is different to the hotel zone where most of the beaches there are like private access and you have to be staying in one of the all inclusives to go and chill on the beach there. But we're excited to head to the next beach where we're gonna get a water taxi and it's like more private and you actually can't get there by car or at all. So, yeah, what an adventure, man! And there's quite a cool breeze in the air. We are here in spring. I wanted to swim in the water, but I don't know if I want to anymore because it's feeling a little chilly, man. One thing's for sure, it is definitely not easy to find ATMs. Drawing money is like, they get they give you such a little bit out. You can only get about 800 pesos a, a time. And you got to pay a fee of $8 every single time. <laughs> they don't take many cards at restaurants and stuff, so you need quite a lot of cash. It's a little, a little difficult. Turns out we're not going to go to the beaches further south. We have to get on the boats early in the morning and then they only come back the next morning. Apparently they don't come back at night so we would be stuck there. So we're just going to hang around in this area, eat some tacos, watch the sunset, have some drinks, chill with friends. It's good vibes around here. Delicious tacos there at uh, Taco Revolucion. There was like $20 per couple. Time to hit some Cheerios. This will be our first time eating Cheerios in Mexico and we've been here like a week already. That's just not good. Three Cheerios and a chocolate sauce for 45 pesos. That's one Cheerio. <laughs> and we got three of them. And they are so fresh and yummy. Oh. This is how you end a day on this beautiful beach, having some churros with friends. Amazing vibes. It was an absolutely wholesome few days spent with our friends in Puerto Vallarta. Thank you Alexa and Nate for sharing this special time with us. We're so grateful to be spending these moments with you. In the next video, you'll see us fly to Cancun and then to Tulum. So get ready to explore the unbelievably beautiful Yucatan Peninsula with us. See you in the next one. Goodbye.